Hey there, thank you so much for joining me today. And I have to say this video is going to be a little different. I've had a lot of singles reach out to me and tell me that they're struggling during this time of self-isolation, that they're feeling really lonely. And I gotta admit that this is weird times, right? And even myself, I have a lot of ups and downs. There are mornings that I wake up and I'm like, everything seems normal. And then I start reading the news and I start crying. And then there are other times where I wake up and I'm like, I'm not going to look at anything. I'm just going to focus on work and distract myself so that I can survive. What's important during this time is not to shame yourself, not to compare yourself to other people. And if anyone's shaming you, it's their own triggers. It has nothing to do with you. At the end of the day, this will not last forever. We want to be able to come out better after being in quarantine, keeping the creative flow, even if that means staying connected to ourselves, right? Dating ourselves right now. So this video is not about dating. This video is about how to mentally cope, stay positive, and how to stay connected while you're going through a solo self-isolation. Set up a schedule and a routine. I know it may sound strange because right now we have a lot of downtime, but it actually mentally tricks you for you to feel some sense of normalcy. So get up, take a shower, get out of your pajamas, do your makeup. And if you wanna create a checklist, even better, because every time you're checking something off that list, you actually get a dopamine rush and it's part of the feel good hormone that'll brighten your day. Try to set up a daily connection with your friends and family virtually. I know this might sound like a lot of work, but there are actual tips out there through mental health professionals that say doing this will allow you to stay connected, allow you to feel like you are actually having a community. And so you can use Zoom, FaceTime, there is an app called House Party that's really getting a lot of press that connects all of you together, making it easier for you to stay connected. Set up game time with your friends, whether it's a video game or an online web game that you guys are doing. The whole point here is to connect. It's more important than ever before. You don't even have to use a program to play. You can actually have fun just asking questions. I went on Google, found a list of really funny questions to ask. I'm gonna be hosting a singles game party. We're all gonna get dressed up, grab a cocktail, and we're gonna to get together and have some fun. Another tip is to draw strong boundaries with the news. I personally wake up in the morning and spend about 30 minutes and then I get right off of the news feed and then I actually go to thegoodnewsnetwork.org. I'll include a link to that too just to get some good news in me so that I can start the day and not be so negative or you know start getting depressed. For those that are in highly impacted areas like California or New York City, I'm sure it's important for you to stay connected with the news. I would check one more time around dinner time and again, limit myself for 30 minutes. Whatever you do, do not look at the news before you go to bed because whatever you look at sets the tone for your sleep. It's going to impact your stress hormones. Your body is going to shift from being relaxed to stressed out and not give you deep sleep and deep sleep helps heal your body. Get outside. I know we have to practice social distancing. It's important to get some fresh air in you. Now is a perfect time to visit places like a preserve or a park. Just practice social distancing and be smart. Breathe in that fresh air, enjoy your time there, and say hi to people, but from a distance. Try a new app with hobbies. I will share with you, uh, there is an app called Scout where you can sing karaoke with another person across the world. How cool is that? It's a perfect time to start a virtual hobby right now. So there are tons of virtual classes, whether it's guitar, piano, art classes. The key is not to overwhelm you, to make sure that you just take one hobby at a time. Start moving those creative juices so that you can have fun again. Focus on self-care. Break out that bath bomb and have that nice relaxing bath. Turn off your phone, turn off your computer, TV, turn it off. You can put on that spa music though. <laughs> and then meditate, spend time with yourself, connect deep within, journal your feelings, talk about what you're worried about, what you're happy about, what you're grateful about. 
really express yourself and allow it to move through that paper. Even if you want to do just a spa day for yourself, do it. Shut everything down and take care of yourself. That's more important. Another tip is to foster a pet. There are plenty of animals out there looking for a home, looking for someone to nurture and take care of them. And animals can help us stay present and stay in joy. By giving to them, they give back to us. And actually, if you get a furry friend, those furry friends actually release dopamine in your brain, the feel-good hormone again. And the last tip is to manage your thoughts. It's more important now than ever. Focus on the things that you can control. Focus on facts. And if you catch yourself in anxiety, it's important to work on some breathing exercises. Taking five deep breaths can actually help you change your mental state. Even though you feel lonely right now, I want you to know you're not alone. I'm here for you. Feel free to leave a comment or any question. I do answer. I do post videos regularly, so if you want to stay in touch, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. Thank you again for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.